Welcome to day three of our 28 days of seeing Jesus clearly. Today, of course, we find ourselves in Matthew chapter 3. And in verse 3, it speaks about John the Baptist. And it says, For this is the one referred to by Isaiah the prophet when he said, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Make ready the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Hey, today, as we are meditating on Jesus during our day, and we're looking to see Jesus clearly, I want us to be cognizant and be mindful of the fact that there is a voice calling us. There's a voice calling for us to make straight the way of the Lord in our lives. It's a voice calling for your life. It's a voice calling for my life. There's a voice crying out to us to see Jesus. John the Baptist was one who was crying out, hey, make room for Jesus. Make room for the Messiah. He's coming forth. Make a place for him in our society. Make a place for him in our hearts. And that voice is still happening today. Though John the Baptist, of course, is not walking the earth, but the Holy Ghost of God is talking to our hearts and is talking to our minds and is even talking to our society. Make a place for Jesus. And today, as we're in this devotion, as we're looking to see Jesus clearly, let's make straight the way of the Lord in our lives. Let's begin looking for what path the Lord would have us on today. Let's respond to the conviction of Holy Spirit. I found the easiest way to deal with anxiety is to do what we know we're supposed to be doing. So much of conviction rests on uh, the Holy Spirit convicting us and us not responding. And so condemnation comes in and makes us feel uncomfortable. The way we're going to deal with condemnation, the way we're going to deal with guilt, the way we're going to deal with shame is to do what we know is right and to make straight the way of the Lord. Of course, in Jesus' day, they, they didn't do that by and large, but there were a small remnant of disciples who decided we are going to make room for him in our hearts and in our lives. Let's be like those disciples today. Let's make a decision all day today. I am making straight the way of the Lord in my life. I'm looking for Jesus and the way he would have me walk today, the way he would have me talk today, what he would have me do. I'm responding to the call in my life. And let's do that together. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.